Welcome to the Celebrity Constellation. I'm going to do a full walkthrough tour. This tour is going to be cool. We're going to take it deck by deck. This is Jason here. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start the tour off here on the upper decks. Behind me is the solarium. To the left is the main pool. Right here is the Tuscan restaurant. Up these stairs right here is the basketball court. And all the way to the back is the rooftop terrace. The buffet is directly underneath us right now. So let's go ahead and head on back to the main pool area and let's start right here. So it's important to know that there are two pools in this area. There is a pool that's really long and then there's a smaller one. The long pool right here is more toward the front of the ship. If we go a deck above, there is a pool bar right here. This pool bar has an excellent view of the main pool area and there's nice little stools where you can relax and have a drink. There are four hot tubs in the pool area. There are two hot tubs that are on either side of the long pool and then there are another two hot tubs that are on either side of the smaller pool. Over here by the smaller pool, you'll find some loungers and in my opinion is a better place to hang out than the bigger pool because right here is the stage. So here you can enjoy live music or a DJ. In the morning, they'll also set up stretch classes and have a little bing back toss during the day. And take a look at this. To the left of the stage is the mass grill. It's in the perfect spot. You could run right over here and grab a hamburger or a hot dog. So let's move up a little bit toward the front of the ship, go past the main pool area and look down. Right here is the solarium. The solarium is completely enclosed. And I love that about the solarium because they can control the temperature and the elements. The solarium is a perfect spot to take a dip in the pool. It's also an excellent place to come in when you get back from port and watch the views as you're leaving port. All the chairs here are more comfortable. The pads are a little bit thicker. So it's a really nice spot to just chill and maybe even take a nap. That's what I always do. Right here in the solarium, it's also important to know that you'll find the spa cafe. The spa cafe is a nice, healthy alternative. All the snacks are very low in calories. They have delicious salads and excellent smoothies. Keep in mind that there are two pool bars, one up a deck, and there's one here right in between the solarium pool and the main pool. Right here is the Ocean Cafe. This is the buffet area. It's huge. It goes all the way from the smaller pool to the back of the ship. And take a look at this. If you go all the way to the back, there's a little outside seating area out here. This is where I like to have my breakfast. Keep in mind that the buffet area is 100% complimentary. It's included in your cruise fare and it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As a courtesy, I have placed current links to all celebrity sailings down below the description of the video. So check those out when you have a chance. Check this out. If you want to book any one of those sailings, make sure you give me a call. It's very important. You see, is what we do is we provide exclusive agency discount. It's amazing. Our clients love us because when they call, they always save money. And we do this in many different ways. We have group space. We give our own exclusive agency discount. We also get promotions directly from celebrity. Keep in mind, to get the discount, you must give us a call. These are unpublished rates and not posted on our website. All the way to the back of the buffet, out here is the Sunset Bar. It is a perfect spot to get the best views of the ocean. This is a great place to come while you're leaving port or anytime during your cruise just to grab a drink. They offer live music during the day so you can relax and chill or you can have your buffet meal back here. Up a few decks, take a look at this. If you look down, that is the basketball court. There is a full court. They may also offer other activities here in the basketball court throughout the cruise. So make sure you check the app under the activities. Right here in the back is the rooftop terrace. Here is a nice place to relax. You'll find comfortable couches and cabanas. You can also enjoy activities like movies under the stars. Let's head to the reflections lounge. The reflections lounge is all the way at the front of the ship and it has some of the most panoramic views that you're gonna find on the ship. It's a really cool spot to hang out when you're at sea, like the ocean, because the views are phenomenal. At night, you're gonna be able to enjoy music, dancing. There's a bar over here. 
it's a fun spot. If you look down at this dough right here, that is where you go in to get into the Tuscan restaurant. This is the Italian restaurant. If you go here, I recommend that you try something a little bit different, maybe the grilled Branzino or the Rosemary Snapper. Let's head on down to the lower decks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look right down on the Grand Foyer. This is decks three, four, and five. They all converge right here. Well, while we're up here on deck five, let's go ahead and tour deck five. Right here is Cafe Il Baccio. It's another one of my favorite places. Not just because you can get freshly brewed coffee, but you can also get a tasty dessert. They offer cakes, cookies, little sandwiches. It's an excellent spot to relax over here in one of these chairs, check out the views, and just enjoy a nice coffee. Right across from Cafe Il Baccio is the Gelateria. If you'd like a nice tasty gelato, head on over here. Through here is the Emporium. Here you're going to find the art gallery, many different types of shops. You can get little knickknacks if you need a watch, all kinds of little different things. Right over here, we're also gonna find Next Cruise. If you enjoy your cruise or you love celebrity cruises, I recommend that you come over here and you talk to them about a future cruise. They always offer some type of incentive. If you decide to do a future cruise, make sure you give us a call as soon as you get home. We can give you another quote, take over that booking and provide you with that amazing exclusive discount. Cellar Masters is the ship's wine bar. It allows guests to try a wide range of wines from a collection of both familiar and unknown wines around the world. Here's what I recommend. Look for their wine tastings. They are fun and informative. And around the corner from Cellars is Sushi on 5. All of the sushi here is a la carte. Also, keep in mind that they offer sushi classes, which are a lot of fun. Let's head on over down the way Take a look at Blue. Blue is not a specialty restaurant, but it is exclusive to guests who are booked in the aqua class. If you would like any more information on specialty dining, regular dining, I've placed a link down below the description of the video of the pricing of specialty dining and all the information. So check out that link when you have a chance under dining. This is San Marco. This is the main dining room. This is completely included in your cruise fare and it is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let me give you the times because those are important. For breakfast, it's open from 7.30 a.m. to 8.45. For lunch, 12 noon to 1.30. And then for dinner, there's either an early or a late dining. The early is 6.15, the late is 8.45. Let's head all the way to the front of the ship and take a look at the theater. Here's where you're going to enjoy all the wonderful theatrical musicals and plays. Here's a little tip. If you book an excursion with the cruise line, this most likely is going to be your meeting place. That's why a lot of people like to book excursions with the cruise lines because they make it very simple. Let's head down a deck, go to deck four. Let me give you a quick preview. Right here is the studio, Michael's Club, and the photo gallery. Straight ahead through here is Fortune's Casino. Right through the casino is the Grand Foyer. To the left is the Martini Bar. Straight back here is Rendezvous. And all the way to the back is the San Marco Restaurant. Remember, that restaurant spans a couple of decks. Let's head on back up to the front and take a look at Michael's Club. It's for those in Celebrity, Signature, Royal Penthouse, and Reflection Suites, as well as Captain Club Zenith members. The luxurious club features a large screen TV, a bar, and comfortable places to just sit and relax. Right past Michael's Club is Fortune's Casino. It's a full service casino. They also offer tournaments such as Texas Hold'em and Blackjack. The Blackjack tournaments are fun, so try one of those. Also, you can enjoy many types of card games and slots. I like the bar here. I love to come here and have a drink at the bar and just watch everyone gamble. Right here on deck four, if we're looking forward, we're gonna go right into the Grand Foyer. It's an elegant vintage setting. It's a beautiful spot to look down on. Decks three, four, and five converge right here. And then you go right around the corner and you go right into the martini bar. I love this martini bar. This is made of ice right here, so you can put your drink down and it never gets warm. It's also a cool spot to have a drink during the day. 
right next to the martini bar is crushed. All the bottles are lined up and placed in ice. It's a perfect spot to sit and have a few drinks. Also in the evening, there will be a DJ playing music. So it is a cool spot to just enjoy each other's company and listen to nice music. Let's just keep on heading down deck four. We're gonna go right into Rendezvous. Rendezvous is a massive area, but it actually fills up. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's a perfect spot to hang out. At night, there's live music. There's excellent bands. There's also a really cool bar. Plenty of seating. All of the seats are comfortable. It's great for a group. It's a fun spot to hang out in, especially before and after dinner. Let's take a look at the Lumini. The Lumini is exclusive for guests who are booked in suites. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you're staying in a suite, most likely, you're only gonna dine in here. You won't be going into the main dining room. As what's special about this place is that signature dishes will be prepared tableside, and each night will feature a new presentation of gourmet chocolates and desserts. At least one night, try the wine pairing. Let's head on down to deck three. Right here is the Grand Foyer. Down here is guest services. If you have any questions while you're on board, just come on over to guest services. They'll help you out or you can call them from your cabin. Also over here, you're gonna find the Shore Excursions desk. If you booked an excursion online after you did your online check-in and you have any questions, you can come on over here, they'll help you out. And if you didn't book any excursions, you can book them while you're on board. Now you can book them here in person or via the app. Right here is Cuisine. When you first walk in, you'll notice that all the lamps are upside down. Here you'll be able to participate in the feature Le Petit Chef. It is an experience which uses 3D technology to project a fun field cooking sequence right on to your plate. Let's head on up to the upper decks. Let's take a look at the spa. Here you'll find a full service spa. It's recommended that on the first day of the cruise that you come on in, take a tour, get to know their services. Also, ladies, if you need to get your hair done while you're on board or your nails, there is a salon. Guys, there's also a barbershop. One of my favorite places here in the spa is the Persian Garden. The Persian Garden has a steam room, a sauna. It is a wonderful spot to come in on a sea day and just relax for a few hours. Right behind the spa is the fitness center. So you're just gonna walk right through the spa and then right at the end, you'll find the fitness center. There's plenty of free weights, machines, there are stair masters, treadmills. They also offer classes. So you can get into a yoga class or a spin class. Here, it's also recommended that on the first day of the cruise, you come on in and check it out. Hey folks, thank you for joining me on the tour. My name is Jason. Remember, to get the best rate guaranteed on your cruise, give me a call. My number's right there on the screen. Have a wonderful day.